Skip Bayless. Wow, talk about firing off hot takes. Now Skip Bayless is simping for the Sanders family by claiming that Shadur Sanders is better than Dak Prescott. At this point, man, just call Skip Bayless Skip Sanders. Just kidding. But in all seriousness, this is Sports Guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about Skip Bayless being an absolute simp to Shadur Sanders by declaring him to be better than Dak Prescott. Although Dak Prescott has has been a choke artist in the NFL playoffs. He is still one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL right now. For Skip Bayless to declare Shadur Sanders to be better than Dak Prescott is absolutely a hot take as Shadur Sanders might not even be the best quarterback in his draft class right now. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So here it is. What is your reaction to Skip Bayless's hot take on Shadur Sanders? Honestly, this is par for the course with Skip Bayless. This is what Skip Bayless does for a profession. Of course, Skip Bayless was going to make a hot take about Shadur Sanders. I am not surprised at all with what Skip Bayless decided to do when talking about Shadur Sanders. We all know that Skip Bayless simps for the black man, particularly when it comes to loudmouth black guys. Obviously, you look at the Sanders family, they are filled with personalities all over that family. You look at Deion Sanders, you look at Shadur Sanders. Sanders, you look at Shiloh Sanders, and then of course you gotta look at Travis Hunter, who is a close friend of Shador Sanders. Of course, Skip Bayless was going to sim for Shador Sanders. It's what Skip Bayless does. And obviously, Skip Bayless claiming that Shador Sanders being better than Dak Prescott is absolutely ridiculous. I do not agree that Shador Sanders is better than Dak Prescott right now. Ironically enough, though, I compared Shador Sanders to Dak Prescott myself. That was my player comparison for Shador Sanders when I was doing a scouting report on him. When I see Shador Sanders, play i see a lot of Dak prescott in this game i actually like shador sanders a decent amount the guy is tough in the pocket he can throw the intermediate routes really well he does a good job working the pocket he can move around a little bit of course he's not the fastest guy on the football field but for a quarterback he is definitely fast enough he's not going to wow anybody with the speed but he can move in and out of the pocket relatively effectively so obviously i have to give shador sanders a lot of credit in that regard and that reminded me of Dak prescott because of the fact that Dak prescott does a good job evading pressure from both the interior and exterior but he's not a guy where you're going to be running triple option games with obviously you look at what Shador Sanders is doing at the collegiate level he's done a pretty good job so far with his talent at the collegiate level because of the fact that he did elevate Colorado to a four win team you look at that Colorado roster that roster was not worthy of four wins now I understand that the hype that they got in the mainstream media everybody made it sound like Colorado was worth a nine or ten win team but when you look at the roster for Colorado that was not a four win roster team that was one of the worst defenses in the conference of and of course, their offensive line was absolutely putrid. They gave Shador Sanders no time to throw in the pocket whatsoever. And Skip Bayless was right. Shador Sanders is a pretty good quarterback in his own right. I do think he can elevate a squad around him. However, I do not agree with the fact that Shador Sanders is better than Dak Prescott right now as we speak. Do you guys realize that Dak Prescott is actually one of the top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL right now? Look, I'm not saying that Dak Prescott is an elite quarterback. I'm not even going to say that Dak Prescott is paid the proper amount of money. I think Dak Prescott is overpaid. I think Dak Prescott is a top 10 quarterback, but he's not elite. I just don't think we have a lot of elite quarterbacks in the NFL right now. And obviously, you look at what Skip Bayless is doing by lighting a fire under Shadur Sanders by claiming that he is already a great quarterback. But comments like that can definitely ruin how somebody looks at a draft prospect because now somebody is going to buy in for the hype of him. They're going to overdraft a guy. And guess what? His career is going to be ruined before it even really starts. You guys remember Zach Wilson, where a lot of people were calling him the next Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, get the fuck out of here because Zach Wilson was one of the worst quarterbacks to have ever played in the NFL in recent memory. Zach Wilson is an awful quarterback. I know that the Jets are a horrible organization for a young quarterback to develop into, but there's nothing that suggests that Zach Wilson is going to be a good quarterback in the National Football League. He makes Sam Darnold look like a really good quarterback, and that's saying something because Sam Darnold is a veteran journeyman who is already playing on his fourth team in just seven seasons in the NFL. So you obviously look at the team that Zach Wilson is on. Yeah, they're not putting him in position to succeed but at the same time you could say that Zach Wilson doesn't really have any ability to succeed in the NFL whatsoever and obviously guys like Chris Sims were hyping up Zach Wilson to be a great quarterback why am I bringing all this up though I'm bringing all this up because Skip Bayless is hyping up Shadur Sanders to be something that he isn't at least not yet I think Shadur Sanders is a good quarterback in the National Football League if he gets there but I don't think Shadur Sanders is better than a top 10 quarterback in the NFL right now I don't think that he has even really fully developed into the best 
possible player that he has. And clearly, Skip Bayless is claiming that he is better than Dak Prescott because he is looking for attention for his failing show in Undisputed, a show that cannot even crack 100,000 viewers on most days anymore. Clearly, he is trying to get people to respond to him by saying that Shadur Sanders is better than Dak Prescott. Before I ramble on about Skip Bayless, though, I want to show you guys this clip of Skip Bayless raving about Shadur Sanders. Roll the film. I'll go on record as saying that Shadur right now is better than Dak Prescott. As we Ooh. speak, as he stands, wherever he is in Boulder, Colorado, he's better I, than I, Dak I Prescott. I love Dion and I love Shadur. And Deion Sanders wouldn't say that he's better. His son is better he than He would not Dak say Prescott that, right but now. he would believe that. Not right now. Can he be better than Dak Prescott? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you, you, <laughs> hey. kid, you act like Dak Prescott is just nothing. Like this dude is just. Like he's a bum. Two and five. Think about what you're saying and you're saying, Skip. Think, think about what you've said on this show. There's just something missing. Josh Allen hasn't There's won in the playoffs. Missing. Yeah. He lost. He ain't been yeah. in the Super Bowl. Josh Allen's better than Dak Prescott. I'll take him in a heartbeat. Man, they the same to me. All. They the same to me. Same? Same. Really? Exactly the same. Huh. Same. While I partially agree with what Keyshawn Johnson was saying about Dak Prescott, I don't agree with the fact that he is saying that Josh Allen and Dak Prescott are on the same tier. That's just simply not true whatsoever. Josh Allen is a top five quarterback on most days playing the game of football. The only reason why Josh Allen hasn't gotten to a Super Bowl yet is because he has to play against Patrick Mahomes in the NFL playoffs more often than not. If Dak Prescott played in the AFC, that guy might not even make the NFL playoffs more often than not. The only reason why Dak Prescott is in the playoffs consistently is because he plays in a very weak conference, let alone a very weak division. There's a reason why most of the NFC East has been a joke during the entire tenure of Dak Prescott. You look at how the Washington Commanders, they're a dysfunctional organization. You look at the New York Giants, they're a dysfunctional organization for the most part. Then you look at the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, they're a pretty good team, but they're not really consistent for the most part. You look at the Dallas Cowboys, they've had a pretty easy path as far as getting to the playoffs. Now, every time Dak Prescott does get to the playoffs, though, he gets exposed and doesn't really play great football. As for somebody like the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen, you look at how they constantly have to go through a tough division where they have an up-and-coming Dolphins team and then when they get to the NFL playoffs they got to play against a team like the Kansas State Chiefs who right now are in the middle of a dynasty run so obviously that's comparing apples to oranges but I do agree on the point that Keyshawn Johnson was talking about when comparing Shadur Sanders to Dak Prescott obviously claiming that Shadur Sanders is better than Dak Prescott right now is absolutely crazy I'm not sure how anybody could come up with that take because Dak Prescott is an above average starter in the National Football League Shadur Sanders on the other hand hasn't really proven any Anything at the NFL level. Now, do I think Shadur Sanders can grow into being an above average starter? Maybe. I could see Shadur Sanders being one of the better quarterbacks in the National Football League. Do I see greatness in Shadur Sanders though? That has not really been yet to be determined. I think Shadur Sanders is not a great quarterback, at least not yet. I think he holds on to the ball too long. I think Shadur Sanders needs to learn how to get rid of the football quicker and that he needs to learn how to take the check down sometimes and that you don't need to always think big play all the time. But I do think Shadur Sanders is one of the better draft prospects in the 2025 NFL draft. I'm not going to say he's the best quarterback in next year's quarterback class, but I think he is definitely up there because you still got to consider Quinn Ewers for Texas, and you still got to consider Carson back for Georgia, and who knows, maybe there's a sleeper quarterback prospect that nobody is talking about that turns out to be really good of the declares for the 2025 NFL draft. My point is Shadur Sanders is a good quarterback, but to claim that Shadur Sanders is better than Dak Prescott right now is a hot take that Skip Bayless is trying to get people to respond to, and obviously he succeeded in that because he's getting me to talk about Shadur Sanders being better than Dak Prescott. Obviously, that take is not true whatsoever. I don't even think Skip Bayless believes that himself. He even admitted that Deion Sanders wouldn't even say that about his own son. So obviously, if Deion Sanders doesn't say that about his own kid, then obviously it's not true whatsoever. Skip Bayless is not even believing in that take for one second. He's just saying that just so he can simp for the Sanders family. Remember last year when Colorado was winning a little bit and then Skip Bayless claimed that the Cowboys need to pay Deion Sanders $100 million to coach in the NFL? Yeah, I remember that. I remember him simping for the Sanders. Sanders family, but that's what Skip Bayless does these days. Nowadays, he's a simp to the black community, and this is classic example of Skip Bayless simping to the black community by raving about Shadur Sanders and claiming that he is already better than an above average quarterback in the National Football League. So that is why I was not surprised with Skip Bayless's hot take on Shadur Sanders, as he is clearly simping for the Sanders family right now. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin as Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin as Tran and that sports guy talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at 
does Nash Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.